this is something that should probably worry everyone. So potential 2024 Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump, who also happened to be president once before, is going to joke about what we should do to journalists who refuse to give up their sources. Now, if this were just any Republican who maybe was a commentator or a low-level politician, I wouldn't necessarily think much of it. I just think, wow, that's kind of gross. I disagree. But because it's coming from someone who could very well be the next president, it should give us a little bit more pause, right? We should we should definitely take what he's saying into consideration a little bit more. So uh, without further ado, let's listen. Easily made public. You know, in this country, they leak all over the place, even on the Supreme Court. By the way, you have to find the leaker of the Supreme Court. You have to find the leaker. You know how you find the leaker? They'll say, oh, this is treasonous, what I said. So they can't find the leaker. He leaked all about Roe v. Wade. Look, uh, this person leaked from the Supreme Court. Never happened. You know how you find? But they don't want to mention this because they think it's so terrible. You take the writer, because you're never going to find it. Other. They're going through phone records. It's been a long time. You take the writer and or the publisher of the paper, a certain paper that you know, and you say, who is the leaker? National security. And they say, we're not going to tell you. They say, it's okay, you're going to jail. And when this person realizes that he... So let me just pause it right, right there. Uh, he's going to continue, but he's saying use the justification of national security in order to coerce journalists into revealing who leaked the information to them. This would destroy journalism in the United States. Destroy it. But it gets worse. And they say, we're not going to tell you. They say, it's okay, you're going to jail. And when this person realizes that he is going to be the bride of another prisoner very shortly, <laughs> he will say, I'd very much like to uh, tell you exactly who that leaker is. It was Bill Jones. I swear he's a leaker. And we got him. But they don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. But that's the only way you're going to find. We have to find. Can you imagine they leak? So he's hinting at, I guess, torturing the journalist who refuses to give up their source. And he suggests that they will be raped as well. Um, he's not necessarily saying that we will engage in rape as a form of torture or enhanced interrogation if we want to use their propagandistic words um he's just saying look maybe you'll be raped so if we're really charitable with the way that we interpret that he's just suggesting that within the prison systems it could be a coincidence that that j journalist who was extrajudicially jailed happens to be raped but even if we take him at what he says there that's still really bad because as president if you know that rape is going on and the jails wouldn't want to do something to change that system, isn't that absolutely disgusting for a country like us? Aren't we supposed to be better than that? But I, I think that we all know what he's saying, that that person in prison is going to be targeted by the U.S. government until they give up their source. I don't think people understand. This is fascism. This is fascism. This is a direct attack on the press. And when he was president, he referred to the press as the enemy of the people. And to me, that rhetoric, even though it's dangerous and bombastic, it's not as bad as what he can do with his actions. His actions, I think, were really worse than the rhetoric. So, for example, when he chose to break with the Obama administration and prosecute Julian Assange under the Espionage Act, well, that was extremely dangerous. And now we have Biden continuing with the uh, extradition of Julian Assange. So Trump is just coming out and saying it that we should do fascism. If you are a journalist who refuses to reveal your leaker, we're going to extrajudicially jail you until you give up the source and we may even torture you using rape as a, a tool to get you to uh, tell us what we want. It's so disgusting and it's trump right i get it we're all kind of desensitized to the deranged things that he says but again this is a potential president again saying something like this can you imagine if obama said something like this it, i mean republicans would be screaming at the top of their lungs that he's a dictator right remember when obama uh, i think he was in nigeria he made the comment that if he were to run for a third term, he would win because he's a good president. But his overall point was 
that I'm not going to run for a third term because democracy requires us to give up power. So they like screeched for, I think, like two weeks at the time. I don't remember what year that was um, because they were claiming that Obama was a dictator. But here, Trump can say things like this. And we call this a Tuesday. Nobody's surprised by it. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.